Hi, I'm George Caliccio. Today we're going to talk about chord inversions. We're going to learn what they are and how to play them. These are the same lessons that I give to my private students as well as courses that I have taught as an adjunct professor. So let's first review. So what is a chord inversion? The word inversion means a change in a position or order of a sequence. In music, it is the rearrangement of the top to bottom notes in a particular interval or chord. There are many reasons for wanting to invert a chord. You might want to create a melodic bass line or to sometimes just to modulate to a different key. Inverting a chord will open up many different position possibilities on the fingerboard of the guitar, as well as finding new and interesting sounds. So let's first review what is a chord. Well, we're going to start with the major seventh chord. To build a major seventh chord, we need to take the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh note of a major scale, in this case, a C major scale. So in C major, the first note is C, the third note is E, fifth note is G, seventh note is B. So combining those notes, we create a C major seventh chord. Now, if we want to do a root position, we start with the root, the, the one, the C in the bass. So our root position is simply one, three, five, seven, C, E, G, B. Now, there's our C, E, G, B. If we want to invert it, we're going to change that bass uh, note. We're going to start in the third degree. So we're going to go E, G, B, and C. So here's our first inversion, E, G, B, C. If we want to invert to a second inversion, we start with the fifth degree. So we start with the G. Then we go B, C, E, five, seven, one, three. In our last inversion, it's called a third inversion, we start with the seventh degree of the scale in the bass. So it would be a B, C, E, G. So let's look at our guitar neck and we're going to figure out chords, inversions on the six, four, five, and second string. So let's take a look at this. Those are all the notes in a C major seventh chord. Our first uh, one we're going to do is it's the lowest one towards the neck here. We're gonna start with the fifth in the bass, which is the second inversion. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna play this chord. It's gonna fit right into there. Then if we go up to the next inversion, we're gonna start with the seventh in the bass. There's our seventh note, which is the B. And here's the chord. You have a seven, five, one, three, and there it is right here. Then we go to root position. We start with the C in the bass. If we look at the shape right here, we can find it right here. Here's my root seven, three, and five. In our first inversion, we start with the third in the bass, which in this case is an E. We have an E, then the root five and seven. So here's our E, which is the third, our root, our five and seven, okay? So what we're going to do first, um, let's grab our guitars and we'll play these chords. We'll hear how they sound. And then I'm going to show you a way that how I practice these, which um, I feel that uh, it really helps me to hear the chord better. What we do is we put a scale, a C major scale, and we follow it up on the second string and then we play our inversions. So let's grab our guitars and we'll go through those positions. All right, here's our 
second inversion, we're going to start with our fifth note, G, in the bass. So we do have all those notes. We have the G, which is the fifth, E, which is the third, B, which is the seventh, and C, which is the root. So here's our first chord. Now we move up to the third, uh, seventh in the bass, which is a B. That's called our third inversion. Now we move up to um, the root in the bass, which is our root position. And we go to the third in the bass, which is an E. And that's our first inversion. And we go backwards. See, you can actually hear the chord in the bass. And which brings us to um, a fun way to practice it is we take our whole scale. This is uh, the C major scale on the second string. So we're going to go C, D, E. So let's just review that. F, G, A, B, C. And backwards. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play these inversions uh, along with that scale. So the first inversion is here. There's my C note. Now, D is not in the inversion, but I'm just going to play that individually. Then I'm going to move to this uh, third inversion. And there's my E right there. Then there's no F, so I'm going to play that all by itself and move to the root position, and there I have my G, and then A by itself, because it's not in the chord, and then I'm going to play this inversion, first inversion which has the B in it, and then I will just add um, the second inversion up top, just to get that C note in. So let's hear how that sounds again. I'll play it nice and slow. So there's two ways of practicing this, just the inversions itself, or we can add the scale in it as well, which is the way I like to do it. So have fun with those inversions, and if you get ambitious, you can move them to all the different keys, or at least several different keys. Um, I usually have my students um, do that in every key, and that really helps them to learn the chords all over the place, as well as learning uh, the major scales. So. Um, have fun, and this will be a continuing series, so um, if you get a chance, please subscribe, like button, the whole thing, and um, we'll see you next time.